Today we're going to show you how to test your electrical system to see if your stator is charging. So you're going to need a couple tools, actually just one, but first thing you're going to need to do is take off your battery box by removing the screws there, there, and on the other side. And then you're going to need a voltmeter that looks like this. So what you're going to do is you're going to turn your voltmeter to volts which on ours is the bottom one here and hook it up to your battery you're gonna have two prongs here now this battery is a little bit different but you're gonna have a positive and a negative so this is where you're gonna hook it up you have to have a voltmeter for this and if you're unsure which one to hook it up to if you hook up your battery and just move the buttons to C12 or 13 volts like this that's where you're going to need to test it out. So what we're going to do is show you, now that that's hooked up, you have 13 volts. And then once you crank up the scooter, we're going to show you what it should do and how it should be performing. And if it's not performing, uh, other steps you can take. All right, guys, due to a mic issue, I'm going to have to do a voiceover for the rest of this. But you can see right now with the voltmeter on we're reading 13.1 we're gonna go ahead and start up the bike and you see it didn't drop below 9 which is you don't want if it drops below 9 then you know the battery is bad um, you can see now we're at 13.1 just that idle 13.16 somewhere in the 13.1 13.2 range you usually want anything above 13 volts 13 you know up to 13.9 you'll know that both the stator and the regulator are working um, and you can see here we're holding at 13.1 so you know that the regulator is working it's not letting any more in the battery is charged it's a new battery um, so we know that all the components are working we're going to show you a couple different ways and bring the bike inside and test them and show you what you can do to bypass the clear relay All right. and you can see here we have the full meter hooked up again um, of course the bike is off and it's reading 13 1 currently right now and that's on DC volts so what we're gonna end up showing you is we're gonna keep the black negative in the battery and we're gonna show you on the regulator rectifier that we have which is a five pin which is what we like to use with the 11 poles we're going to move that red prong in the positive end of the battery here and bring it over to the rectifier and we're going to show you here once we get the camera around okay so on your regulator you'll see that there is a red wire coming out of it. That's going to be the feed for your power. So that's going to be the wire that has the charging volts coming back from the stator. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to take that prong and go ahead and put it inside there. And you can just kind of tuck it in through the clip here like this. And with the bike on you should be able to get a reading ours right now is off and we're getting still having our 13 one but when you turn your scooter on you should be able to it should be fluctuating with you giving the gas so it should go up to 13 2 13 8 whatever it is if it is not then it's going to be one or two things that isn't working it's going to be either your rectifiers going bad or your stator Okay, so now what we're going to show you how to do is bypass if you have any type of electrical issue for you to figure out how to make sure that your stator and your rectifier are working and this will allow you to recharge your battery if those two components are working. So you're going to take a piece of wire like so. Um, you're going to make sure that you have a fuse for it. With this one we have an open end and then we also have an eyelet. So you would take this open end and you would tap it into the red wire either before or after the clip let's see here see if we can get it to focus come on 
technical difficulties are. There we go. All right, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna tap that into the red wire here. You can solder it, clip it, make sure that it has a solid connection to it. You're gonna run the other end over and that's why we put the eyelid on it. And you would just screw that in to the positive terminal, which we'll see if we can get around and show you here. And you just run it over and screw it into the positive terminal. Now by doing this, with you having the bike on, oh, let me just show you first. This is the wire that we're choosing. We can use a fuse in there. We don't suggest using a five or a 10. I'd use a 15 or 20 for something like this. It doesn't have to look necessarily just like this wire, but we, um, we chose this one just because it has a uh, waterproof cover on it. Um, by doing this, and if you have a working regulator rectifier and a stator working, you should see with the voltmeter that this is actually charging your battery back up again. And it should go between you know, 13 volts or higher. Um, hopefully this video helped with a little trick to make sure that your components are working. Be sure to like, subscribe, and share. And we appreciate all the uh, comments and everything like that that you guys leave behind. We try to answer and help you out with more videos. Thank you.